Hi, on this video we'll take a look at how to set commissions in Journalytics. We'll start with My Trades page. We have our Close PL column and now we have a new column called Net PL which will show our PL with commissions applied. To set our commissions we need to go to Tools, click Commission, a new, open, a new window will open. We click New. We have several settings now that we need to set. We'll start with the date. We want to apply our commission from January the 2nd. The account, we can select a specific account, but for this example we're going to create, we're going to select all accounts. The same with the exchange, we're going to select all exchanges. For instrument type, we're going to select futures. Again, for symbols, we can select a specific symbol, but for this example we're going to select all symbols. The NFA fee exchange, you're going to select a random value here just to serve as an example. We're going to select currency, US dollars, click save. Our commission has now been created. Go to tools again, apply commission, new window opens. Here we're going to select the range for which we want to apply our commission. We're going to maintain January 2nd till today. We can specify an account but for this example we're going to select all accounts click OK going back to my trades click refresh and now you'll see that the futures we, we have now commissions all futures if you're going to search for futures you can see you have gold Nasdaq ES crude you can see that we have commissions for all these. For other futures, as you can see ES and Q, we don't have commissions because the market type is an external platform. All these trades were made using an external platform. You used Tradeovate here and we used NT8 here. So you need to create a new commission for this specific um, situation here. For external platforms. So you go back to Commission, click New, again select January 2nd, let's maintain all accounts, um, all exchange IDs, instrument type, we're going to select external platform, let's maintain all symbols, let's again just a random value for our fees, currency US dollars, Commission has been created, back to apply commissions, we maintain the same settings here, click apply, go back to my trades, click refresh and now you can see that we have our new commissions for external platforms. So if you can look at all external platforms we can see we have $20 in commissions. Let me show uh, uh, yet another example here, let's now create a commission where we are going to specify an account and a symbol. So create new date. Let's select a CQG account here. This one. Let's speci specify a exchange which will be CME futures and the symbol we're going to use ES. So let's be a little bit more specific now in terms of commissions. So we'll not, we will not use clearing fee, put 120 for broker and again nothing for other fees, dollars, save, again use same, same settings as earlier, click apply, so going back to my trades, click refresh and now let's search for our CQG account and the yes and you can see we have our brand new commission where we specified that account and that specific symbol. Notice that this commission overrides our previous one where we selected all accounts. So you have a little uh, a small help here in terms how rules for commissions um, is set so it's a uh, good reading. Lastly Let's go back to my trades page. I want to show you that click on the notes 
you can see that we have also information of gross PNL, commissions paid for this specific um, position, and the net PNL for this specific position. Also, going back here to my dashboard, we also have information for commissions paid for the period we have selected here. We can see gross PNL, net PNL, and commissions paid per account. Going to the statistics here, again we have the total in terms of fees paid for this specific uh, period. And coming down here, again we have gross PNL, commission, and the net PNL here per each account uh, we traded. With this new tool, we can now get more accurate statistics for our trades. Thank you.